Oops. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Joyce Balfour and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a review of Bourgeois Healthy Mix BB Cream. I got this yesterday. <laughs> um, it's new. I realized that it's not available at Boots yet. Um, it's a new release in France, so I thought I'd go ahead and review this thing. Um, if you read uh, localgirlforaman.com, you know that I don't give review based on the first day that I use the product. But you know what? I'm doing this for my SEO <laughs> so that I can get more traffic from the blog. Sorry, that's not what why you're here for. But I'm just saying, like after this uh, review, um, I will um, I will do my normal thing, which is testing it out for two weeks to four weeks, and then write out the whole review and and the tweaks. Anyway, so. Um, Oh, as you can see, it's got a security seal, which I do like. Um, it smells like it smells like the other healthy mix, very similar to this one in terms of smell. Um, I do like the packaging because it's easy to travel with. Um, and um, I, I like this quite a bit. I think it's nice touch for a drugstore. Um, the packaging doesn't feel cheap. That's the nice thing about this. And I got this for uh, $13.45. I paid $13.59, not $49. So I'm just correcting myself quickly. Um, yeah, it's not on sale, but I mean... I, I love bourgeois uh, foundation, I, I don't know why. Well, not all of them. I mean, like, <laughs> I hated the City Radiance, but anyway. So my skin is on a dehydrated combination side of things. I am 35 years old, okay? But my main concern is not actually aging, and it's not lines. My main concern are these. You see here? And here. It's, um, I actually like these freckles a lot, but I don't like this side because they are very, I don't know if you can see it, they, they're not very balanced. I got more freckles and they're bigger on this side of my face. Anyway, that's, that's a different problem. So back to this foundation. Um, this is how I find my color, by the way. Um, I put on my chest like here. Can you see? It actually disappears into my chest. So, I don't know why on camera it looks darker, but in real life, in, actually in, in real life it's, um, okay, I have no idea why on camera it looks a little darker, but in real life it disappears. <laughs> okay, so, um, I've already, put moisturizer and sunscreen on my face let's give this a go um, it's definitely on the yellow side of things and as you can see I'm Asian so I love yellow base <laughs> uh, yeah. um, I want to put it on with fingers first <coughs> oopsie excuse me because who actually wants to wash brushes and sponges if they can just use fingers, right? It makes the skin feel very soft. It definitely has some silicone in here, I think. It feels... Yeah, there is uh, the methicone in here. So um, if you're allergic to that stuff, you know, this is not for you. Can you see how perfect this color is? Oh, this is in the color medium. Um, I am normally, what color am I in black? Um, for face and body, I'm a C2. Uh, for the other one, I'm a NC. 
25 for Studio FX. Studio FX Summer is 25. So if you are in that color range, medium is good. See? It's. Does it cover? Not really. Let me check. It feels like a moisturizer. It's not very thick. It's not thick like other BB creams or the Korean ones. I mean, those Korean ones are like so thick. I mean, they're just tacky. Like, I mean, thicky, not, not like in a bad way, tacky. Um, you can still see most of my freckles. Let me just see if I put extra layer if you, if it would actually hide it. Alright, I think this is definitely a light coverage, not uh, not high on coverage for sure. Um, but I do like the feel of it. It's a little bit tacky. Um, oh, and just to let you know, I always for the first few times i always test it without any primer and also without any powder i just want to see the product by itself how it performs so that's the way i normally test it I don't think this is very clear so I will this is what I normally do for my written blog this is literally what I do actually I do like this super close-up so they can see all my horrible pores and uh, all the other good stuff <laughs> but I don't care less because this is the foundation review right it's not about me looking good so uh, so that's it the whole face has been covered. You can see that my skin tone is now very even. And this natural lighting is trashing this video. <laughs> so um, that's it. I will come back in an hour or two, depending, because normally like, I mean, unless this is horrifically bad, I'm not going to see any action for the first hour anyway. Um, I will go ahead and do a whole bunch of other things. I will not put any other makeup on my face because this review is about the foundation. I don't want the blush powder and anything to have any effects on the um, on this foundation. It's called BB cream, but honestly, I don't. I don't actually see a difference. I just see it as a marketing gimmick uh, branding. Um, it is tacky, um, but I do agree. Hey, this thing uh, it feels hydrating, and definitely radiance. I can see that if my skin looks very tired and I wear this stuff, it will it will lift me up immediately. I I, I can see that and. Uh, I agree with the claim so far. Um, let's see how it will, how long it will stay on. I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely at radiance. Can you see that? I, I I did mention that I'm 35 years old, so I mean, like you know, radiance is something that I always look for, and it actually covers that freckle quite nicely. From left to right. First swatch is the freshly applied BB cream, which I mean you can't see it just melts into my skin, so no point. The second swatch is the oxidized version. Now you can see that there's a peachy undertone to it. Um, it's not orange, nothing offensive, and you know when it's on my face, you can barely see the difference. 
And the final swatch, the one that's on my wrist, it's the MAC NC25. Now, this one has been oxidized as well, and it's still a lot more yellow than the um, Bourgeois. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is the second hour check. Uh, okay, I want to say that the coverage, um, this is just first day of trying, right? I, I think the coverage is gone. Like, completely. <laughs> uh, it's no coverage. Or, or whatever coverage we had right at the beginning already faded. And this is just second hour mark. It dries down, it took about like 13 minutes, if not even 40 minutes to actually dry down. And from what I can see, um, I know it look a lot more shiny or sheen on camera, but it actually dries down to like a demi-matte, little bit satiny, but not, not, not quite satiny uh, sort of finish. Um, I would say that at the moment, at two hour mark, I feel like the coverage is uh, similar to um, the MAC face and body, which is like almost zero coverage, except it's adjust the skin tone. My skin tone looks very even. It feels very good. Um, my dehydration lines are not happening. Oh, one thing I've noticed is, you know, at the beginning when I was testing it, I put the makeup uh, onto the lid. I always do that for trying trying out it creases like within 40 minutes on the lid so don't do it or at least like because I'm doing it without powder completely so it gone right into the into the crease but I do have Asian eyes so I mean mechanically speaking I think I'm asking too much for it not to crease can you see the way my eyelid close so that's it and I've been testing it with glasses um, it doesn't look horrible over here but then again this foundation has virtually no coverage hey this is the fifth hour check-in uh, nothing is happening because there is not that much coverage to start off with so there's nothing to update no weird shine uh, no weird flakiness that's it for now see you guys uh, seventh hour or nine hello everyone this is the ninth hour check-in so uh, I think this is it um, nine hours um, I have not blotted at all I have blown my nose many times today because like I told you I start to get a cold so it's just very very slight shine uh, no ugly breakdown these are just my freckles it's my regular ugly bits <laughs> um, like nothing horrible even the dry patch did not go ugly and uh, also between the fifth hour and now i've had uh, ramen which is hot soup noodle so you can imagine normally the face would be quite sweaty and uh, probably oily and it did not happen it's pretty good um, but like i said before i don't like drawing conclusion just based on one day use um, I would definitely write the review after I have uh, at least two weeks, two to four weeks sort of wear. Um, I'll put it on my blog, localgirlfrontline.com. But for now, for first impression, I quite like it. Uh, I, I must say that I was hoping for slightly more coverage. But then again, I mean, I love MAC uh, face and body, so I, I like sheer coverage anyway. So that's it. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.